<sighs> Welcome to the end of a very long school day and the end of a very long, exhausting week. The weekend can get started quite yet. Not ready to roll with the weekend yet. A few errands to run, and according to the clock, I'm in a time crunch, so I've got a boogie. Let's see where it takes us. And of course, as if Friday traffic wasn't enough, my gas light's on. I'm not usually one who lets my gas tank run on E before filling it up, but sometimes it happens. But the time crunch is still upon us. I have till 5 o'clock to make it to my next errand. And it's 422. Get gas. Traffic. Let's see what happens. Full tank of gas. But we're still in a time crunch. Are we going to make it? Well, sometimes you can't do it all in one day, right? The post office I was trying to make it to by 5 o'clock is still about 15 minutes away, and they close in about 2 minutes, so... But that's okay, because I'm driving right by PetSmart here. We go inside and give this to them, and maybe book some care appointments for the dogs. They need, our, they need their current rabies information before they let them in there to give them their haircuts and get their nails done and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna go take care of that, bear back. And then there's the bank. I had to run to the bank. That's on the agenda. Over yonder, Ruby Sue, tomorrow morning, bright and early, we'll be at PetSmart. They didn't have any room for Luna. They just had room for one dog tomorrow. And if you've seen Ruby Sue, looking really shaggy so she really needs a haircut so tomorrow morning she'll be in there but check out the sunset right here all the ominous storm clouds coming in so after PetSmart I had to do one more errand which is going to the bank which is on the other side of Oviedo which means you got to drive through Oviedo through all that traffic and you know what I'm not feeling it so it's not going to get done either. But there was one more errand, a very important errand, to officially kick off the weekend. And it's right back there. Okay, so the topic of today's video was not necessarily errand running. And it's something I've been thinking about for the past several hours. Last night I was watching some videos at home. And I mentioned... A, another YouTuber out there, his name is Josh, he has a great channel called Exploring with Josh. And I mentioned I like his videos because he goes to these all these abandoned places. And I began thinking about, man, how does he travel the world? I mean, he's in China, and he's in Japan, and he's in Russia, and he's in the U.S., and he's all over the place. And then I watched a video of his where he was at this uh, conference. And the conference was a very small conference of people who also do this, do the YouTube thing here. And they're wildly successful, very, very successful people. And they've built these wonderful channels and this great following. And in turn, that's their full-time job. And I never really thought of my channel as something that could turn into something else. You know, here I just do my goofy videos, and I talk, and I show things I'm doing, and I may show a video here or there, things I'm doing with my students. But I never really expected it to grow and to be like this really big deal. And I never really wanted that, to be honest with you. And my sights are kind of changing. I'm kind of thinking that would be a really wonderful thing. I forget her name, but there is a woman in Josh's previous video that is a, a travel vlog. So she travels, she spends her entire nine to five, right? We all have nine to five jobs. Her job is to travel the world and record. His job is to travel the world and record. And there's so many people out there who have done that exact same thing. So that has a good side and a bad side because a few of these people I've watched, you know, when you watch them and you read the comments in the comment section of their videos, there's a lot of positive stuff out there, a lot of nice things being said, but at the same time, there's a lot of negativity, a lot of hate out there. So, you know, it's, um, as they say, a double-edged sword, right? You talk about 
things, you do something you're passionate about that you enjoy sharing. And some people love it and they go, yay, keep going. Some people like to tear it down. So, but yeah, I like the idea of doing this and actually making some money out of it, right? It'd be kind of a fun idea. Just got to figure out what, what my niche is. But before that happens, behind us is Habanero's Mexican restaurant for a little Friday night taco takeout. I'll be right back. Well, I suppose I could have finished my video before I went and did my takeout because now it's dark and it's raining outside. It's a perfect night to be in the house with some taco takeout, some takeout tacos. So thinking about my niche, thinking about what my niche might be. So see you guys tomorrow though. If you think of anything, let me know, leave a comment. What is my niche? What do I do well? Just a curious question. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.